It is, in fact, the million-dollar soccer tournament from Cary, North Carolina, and this matchup features the U.S. women against Sayward FC, and this should be fun because you will see some players that we haven't seen in some time, but players whose names you know and you know very well. A look at our starting lineups brought to you by Ufos for the U.S. women. The keepers, Lindsey Harris, Skylar Debris, Kendall Fletcher, Kat Whitehill, Heather O'Reilly, Christine Lilly, and Joe Lohman. And for Sayward FC, Brandon Miller in net, Alejandra Lopez, Reed Rouse, Alex Palm, Brendan Lambie, Salif Ujada, and Kyle Broderick. I would ask you, Michael, about strategy, about <laughs> formations, in 7v7, does it matter? It does, how you start the game, but as the game opens up, that goes out the window. Fatigue is going to settle in, but you have to start well and get that early goal. Uh-oh, opportunity right now for Sayward FC. Coming down the right side, trying to leave it back, and this will be cleared away by Kendall Fletcher. It's an important read from Fletcher. Such an intelligent player to cut that out. First shot, and that's going to be a stop. A nice save by Lindsey Harris. It'll lead to a corner. Harris is going to be tested often and early in transition. When this ball gets hit, it's heading to the top of the net, but she does well to read it and parry it out. Alejandra Lopez with that shot. Here's the corner. Again, you could expect some rifles coming in. Another one. And that one. Did that hit the post? I think I was headed out by O'Reilly. And, and use them pretty loosely. Another attempt, and that's headed by Fletcher. She took a shot right there. The rebound, and there's a goal. The first goal of the game scored by Brendan Lambie. The strength that they can exhibit off a shot. When this ball gets hit. It's coming out for like a rocket. It's so difficult and good to see her get up, but it's so difficult to react if you're the rest of the team. I think the rest of the team reacted to her making sure she's okay before reacting to the ball. Mm -hmm. And then Brendan Lambie reacts quickest and pokes it home. Able to keep it in. The 18-year-olds takes a shot with the left. That gets blocked by Fletcher. Good to see her back in the game. Ola Louie. 16th minute inside and this is going to be ricocheted into the net for the second goal of the game for Sayward FC. A bit lucky on the deflection, good interplay and interchange between the attackers and when this ball gets squared, it's so difficult to react and I think that's an own goal in the yeah. end. Yeah, Skylar Debris. Here comes O'Reilly. Down to left, playing it inside. First time we've seen the U.S. connect a couple of passes. And here comes the shot. That's blocked. Thanks, Justin. I'm here with Kyle Broadwick, 22-year-old striker, played the first few minutes of the game. And this and corner is going to be a header in for the third goal of the game. That's headed in by Lawrence Jackson. Excuse me, by Caleb Steele. Take me back to those first couple of moments on the field. What was that like for you getting to start this one? And what are you guys taking advantage of offensively? Yes, so, you know, coming out here, it's a big atmosphere, you know, a lot of fans, the teams, everything's big. So coming out here playing against the women, you know, it's, it's big and, you know, it's a, it's good to play against them because, you know, they, they put on for America and for the women, you know, they're very strong. She judges the fly of the ball well. So many of the shots heading towards the top corner, but she's laser sharp focused and she's performed so far. And that will end this first half with what this team needs to do and as Sayward FC will start with the ball here in the second half, leading by three. Michael, I'll ask you, how do the U.S. women come back when they haven't played together? A lot of these players have been retired for a while. They're not in the same shape that Sayward FC is in. They have to step the pressure higher up the field. Sayward FC, how they got in this position was shots from distance, and they're taking advantage of the space that's afforded to them. And I think it's running in behind and runs in the channels that make him difficult to play against. Flick and taking at the feet is Yates. He'll pick it up. The other team doesn't have the opportunity to get back in that target score time, so we're going to look to keep the intensity high, get shots on target, and score a goal like that. <laughs> there we go. High level players. Uh, and so that's going to give us the confidence to move forward in this tournament. You know, hopefully we can finish this out, get the goals that we need, and, and look towards the next game. Taking advantage of the opportunity. Brandon, appreciate the time. Justin, back up to you guys.
Whitehill rifles one. It's a save. Nicely done. And going up to keep it is Tyler Yates. But that was a good shot from Cat Whitehill. Raymond Brooks with some time in midfield. Lofted. Jada all alone. Terms. And another save by Lindsey Harris. With... That's why this tournament is unlike any other. So many rules that defy usual soccer metrics and keep an eye on Harris as soon as that ball goes to Jada she's off her line reads it well once again and now we're gonna have a foul as O'Reilly goes down gets pushed by Cody Ickner and now we're gonna have a foul as O'Reilly goes down gets pushed by Cody Ickner and this, again, is one of those opportunities where you're in that striking zone. You can take that, that kick on net. And they do quickly as they weren't ready, but Tyler Yates with a diving save. Now, it's just about to say that's the player that you want on the ball. Casey Lloyd, she can hit it left foot or right foot. Such a natural striker of the ball. With each save that Harris makes, you can see a slight uptick in confidence. The team looks a bit more dynamic, but it's been because of moments like this, giving up possession, that's really frustrated their attacks. All right, so this is the end of regulation. We're going to have the target score time coming up. The target score is going to be five, as it's 4 nothing. Sayward FC over the U.S. women. Quickly, be aggressive. So I expect Sayward FC to be aggressive, maybe shooting from distance like they were in the first half. They have a lot of those same players in here to start. In the box, we're going to have a penalty. As I said before, there's going to be gaps that open up, and it creates this penalty kick opportunity. Cat Whitehill is going to take the PK. Whitehill shot. It's saved. Tyler Yates makes the save. Roderick back to Lambie inside. Nice move by Whitehill to poke it away. Broderick takes the shot. That gets blocked by Fletcher up in the air. Here's Jada with a clear shot. Another save. Oh, what a save by Lindsey Harris. Are you kidding me? Say word forcing errors from the U.S. women's in possession. And they've stepped up their press yet again, playing a high line to transition. And here is the counter again. The step through the shot. Another shot, and there it is. Game over. Say word FC as Brendan Lambie scores the game winner. One Brendan Lambie's a right-footed player. He's going for that bottom corner, and I think that's more down to being under so much pressure if you're the U.S. women's team. And when this ball ricochets, ah, oh, it's so unlucky. Falls to that right heel. She didn't know much about it, and that's our game. What a good kid. I'd like to see that by Brendan Lambie, and he, he said what you and I talked about before that these women, they're not just heroes for young girls, they're heroes for everyone. I mean, you and I remember playing, watching this team in 99 with the World Cup, what it meant, you playing in the MLS. I mean, you looked up to them. I think of players like Mia Hamm. Yeah. Growing up in Northern Virginia, she was the standard bearer for a lot of us, and she was playing in the women's game in North Carolina. I went to college being inspired by <laughs> players like her and obviously mm -hmm. the career that she had i'm not saying i'm a mia ham because that's a tall <laughs> tall feat but i think it's amazing seeing the crossover and now the unification between the men's and women's game in a tournament like this